Hey guys, happy Friday. And before we dive into the subject of Blue Mage and PvP, um, tonight I'm actually going to be streaming live over on Work to Games Twitch. Uh, come hang out, should be around 4.30 Central. Uh, you can let me know your thoughts about this video if you want. Uh, hopefully you join me. I think I'm going to do a little bit of the story. I actually haven't played a 6.1 yet. I haven't done the raid yet. I've been just living and breathing in PvP in 14. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of break out of that for a little bit tonight. So come hang out, come join me if you want to run the content with me. Uh, or otherwise, uh, you can probably wait around and we'll probably do one more game of PvP and then followed by maybe another game and then one more after that. But tonight or today or however you're consuming this content, um, I wanted to briefly talk about, I think that Blue Mage should be added to PvP in Final Fantasy 14. Now there's two trains of thought. I've actually also seen this expressed online. One that you would have like an all Blue Mage uh, PvP or an all limited version of PvP. But I think that might just take a little bit too much work where I think ultimately when it comes to PVP, every job is so unique. Like every job feels like an ideal fantasy version of themselves. And what I mean by that is that like the Dragoon Jump, amazing. Like everything just feels and works differently. And so I don't think it's that big of a stretch to take Blue Mage and just give it its own set. Yes, it's not gonna be the you know the blue mage limited fantasy that they've built out for it over on pve but i don't think it needs to be i think pvp can continue to be its own completely separate thing and i think it's time that we bring blue mage into the fold uh but giving them their own uh, different kinds of sets of skills now obviously like if we look at the the idea of blue mage what could it point what what kind of fantasy could it bring into pvp well, I mean, not to say that it would steal completely from what like Gunbreaker's uh, Junction system is doing by kind of targeting various things, but it would be pretty interesting to see it kind of adapt into, you know, that idea. Like that's just one idea. Obviously you're using your enemy's strengths against them. That's kind of the core principle, you know, focus. So Blue Mage being a caster, I think ends up working out incredibly well. And I think it could pair really well with what we got with Summoner with uh, Red Mage and with Black Mage. And at the end of the day, being able to maybe, you know, bring in a little bit of healing or maybe even bring in a little bit of tanking, depending on the situation in hand, I think it could be really cool. Like we haven't really seen, and I haven't played every single uh, every single job. I'm almost done with all the controller guides for the jobs themselves. If you guys haven't seen, been posting those over on Ginger JRPG, I'll try to tag it in the description of this video. But when we look at like all the jobs, like having uh, a job that could have various stances to kind of take on whatever role it wants could be a real interesting thing. And then the rules of PVP being that you can't, it couldn't have all blue mages because it literally limits you to one job per team of five. I think it would be a very healthy thing. I think this could actually expand on what blue can do. <laughs> like, <laughs> That wasn't intentional, but the first thought that then popped in my head right after that is like, well, I guess maybe we'll get a hashtag uh, started. What blue can do, but you know, you never know. We'd have to make sure that 14 was tagged in there somewhere, because uh, that would be that'd be crazy if that ended up trending out in some uh, some form or fashion. But I digress. I'm not trying to like keep you guys here too long. Um, but having played, uh, you know, so far like every of the casters, all the the melee, all the ranged, all the healers. Minus Scholar. I'm going to play some Scholar today. And I've done two tanks. I've got two more tanks uh, left to go. Having played all of those, I still, I, I just feel that I think Blue could fit in. And what Blue can do, baby, let's get, let's get, let's increase its skills. Now, the question then would become is that, you know, like if they decided to add in Blue Mage, we still haven't seen the expansion yet or supposed expansion of what the limited job system might entail and hopefully we get to see that now that ultimate is out i've been saying for a while now that you don't want to sit here and deliver another limited job before you deliver your next ultimate those ultimate raiders have suffered long enough uh between different uh different raids so seeing that they've added finally the uh dragon song reprise i think this would be a really good opportunity to revisit the limited job system and whether you like it or not like my my advocation for it isn't that you should change your mind on it one way or the other it's just that we really haven't seen their thought out process we've seen more about the blue mage and we've seen the blue mage go from something hated to something like oh my gosh like it's so much fun you get a whole team of blue mages and y'all just wreck and destroy various pieces of content but that still isn't the full picture the limited system right now is only limited to blue mage 
and adding in a beast master or a puppet master could hopefully help flesh out like what does it mean to have a limited system um or like a, a, a basically a whole different kind of battle system uh separate from the main uh game and so anyway i i know that probably is going to kick up a flurry of thought and, and frustration from many of you that want blue mage to be a real job and i think regardless of that adding them into pvp could be a really nice uh thing to see anyway guys let me know your thoughts. Like, do you want to see Blue Mage in PvP? Do you not want to see Blue Mage in PvP? I put out a poll on it. Generally speaking, the majority of people don't want to see Blue Mage added into PvP. But I don't think, obviously, again, like you take exactly how it exists right now. You just literally give it its own toolkit. And then from there, the easiest evolution of thought becomes like, well, if you can do that for PvP, why can't you just do that for base PvE and make Blue Mage a real job anyway? So let me know. Where do you fall on Blue Mage? Do you want to keep it limited? Do you want to see it in PvE as a as a real job? Uh, do you want to see it brought into PvP as some kind of, you know, curated PvP? Um, all thoughts are welcome. Thanks guys so much uh, for your time. Hopefully you enjoy your week. Hopefully I'll see you tonight on stream. But regardless, whatever you do, hopefully you have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care.